Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of <laughs> But that doesn't seem to stay the same. <laughs> Dylan's going to the gym now. I'm gonna go on a run and then go to the grocery store. Quincy. I thought you were leaving. Quincy. <laughs> you really now gotta I'm do gonna that dressed. on camera? <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> oh. You're so... <laughs> he always tries to pants Keep me. You on your toes. Now I'm gonna get dressed. <laughs> so this is actually what I wore yesterday. Me. So if you happen to see me running, and you're like, you're wearing the same outfit. What? You're talking while getting naked? I'm dressed. You weren't just now. What are you, the police? The naked police? Anyways, I don't even know what I was saying. I wore this yesterday, so if you see me running, don't judge. Oh, and, and you think were... that I have no clothes because I really have too many clothes that my boyfriend doesn't even have space in the closet. We have this big closet and he only gets about 10% of it. You have like four wife feeders and the rest of your laundry is on the ground. <laughs> so, what do you want me to do about that? Your breath smells like weed. What is that smell? It it's my like, mouthwash. It smells like marijuana. Let me finish. Anyways, so sorry that you had to see that. So, this is my final fit. Also, I just did myself tanner. I actually feel like I look better in person, but it looks like really dark right now. So yeah, this is kind of my new morning routine. I wake up, Dylan wakes up, he goes and leaves for the gym. I go on a run and then I come back and I do like a little workout of my own. And all together, that takes me like 45 minutes. So it's like a very quick thing. The reason why I don't go to the gym is A, I don't really like people looking at me. I don't really need to get into it, but yeah, I just also like paying to go to the gym. I don't know. I just, I like to run. I don't like to run actually really, but I prefer to work out like by myself and I hate working out and I hate exercising But recently I just had the realization that I should probably start working out. So I just got back from my run Here's the thing. I, as I kind of said before about like the gym and stuff, I don't like the fact that like if I were to go to the gym, I'd have to drive there. That would take like 20 minutes, work out, which would probably be like an hour to an hour and a half, drive back. And then by then it's like a two hour or more thing. And for me, like that's just like not my thing. Like it's not my priority, I guess. Like I would rather do a quick run, do a quick workout, get it over with. You know, like for someone like Dylan, Dylan loves going to the gym. He loves working out so for him it makes sense to do that to spend a lot of time working out and stuff because he likes it for me i just don't so i'd rather just like do my workout be done so that's why i do what i do i totally admire people who do like to go to the gym and who do like working out at the gym one day i think i will possibly go to the gym <laughs> but today is not that day so yeah, now I'm gonna do a little workout. Usually I just do like abs, arms, a little bit of butt, but like not crazy. Yeah, so on my run, as you can see, I like to be fully covered also because I'm so scared of getting kidnapped. There's this one white van that drives around. Today I drove around twice while I was running. I just run around the block and to run around the block, it's about a mile according to my Apple watch. Anyway, it drives around. It's probably just a UPS delivery guy who's like delivering packages and doing his job, but I'm so scared of getting kidnapped. I'm so scared of everything. So I like to be as like covered as possible because I don't want them to see my sexy body. I'm just gonna do my workout now and then I'll come back. Okay, so I did my little workout. I only did abs. So there's a lot going on here. I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's now. My birthday is in two days. I'm feeling excited because I'm turning 24 and 24 is my favorite number. It's also a little bit daunting because 24 is very close to 25 and I feel like 25 is like adult. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna start with that. You know what I've been really thinking about recently is how fast time moves. And I know that that's such an old person thing to say and such a cliche, like not original thought, but like it's, it's like really been like resonating with me recently. Like I remember in fifth grade, my roller skate birthday party and like who I invited. Yeah, it's just like, I remember all these things 
months that they were so long ago and it's just weird to think that like my life right now or like this past year next year i'll be looking back on it being like oh i can't believe that's what i was doing last year well i just had an amazing shopping experience when i was checking out the girl checking me out she was like do you have any fun plans for the weekend and i said no even though it's my birthday and i should have fun plans <laughs> I need to plan something. But I was like, no. And I was like, do you have any plans? And she said, she's going up to Biola. And then the guy bagging the groceries, he asked about my pickle necklace. He said, is that a pickle or a cucumber? And I said, a pickle, of course. He was like, that's awesome. And I was like, he asked me about if I knew about the pickle ornament. And I was like, wait, I have a pickle ornament. And then I guess there's this whole story in Germany. Like if you hang a pickle in your tree, like a pickle ornament, then whoever finds the pickle, you know, cause it's like the same color as the tree. Whoever finds it gets like a special present or something. I love when people are nice. Just to do a mini Trader Joe's haul. I got eggs. I really like doing rice cakes with the smoked salmon so rice cake cream cheese smoked salmon and then the everything but the bagel seasoning from trader joe's i got lactose free milk which i've never gotten before it's only 11 30. i still have the whole rest of the day what an amazing start to my morning <gasps> i have a call at 12 i completely forgot now i'm gonna shower because i'm kind of gross so i'm really really hungry i'm gonna shower get ready make food I forgot about my call that I had at 12. Like I literally turned the shower on and then she called me right as the shower, I was about to take my clothes off. Now it's 12.45, I'm going to shower now, but the call was good. I have exited the shower and right as I got out of the shower, my grandpa called me and it made my whole day. I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> I wanted breakfast food, but I am too lazy to make it now. I received a package in the mail from my friend Natalie. It says, happy birthday, Q. I love and miss you dearly. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I can't read it, actually. I just got done crying, so I can't read it again. I have to show you this gift because it is amazing. It's a gratitude journal, and it says my name on it. Happy Saturday. Today is February 5th, which is my birthday eve, as well as me and Dylan's two year and four month anniversary. So last night, or yesterday, I was kind of in a off mood, but then I ate and then I felt better. And then I went to my friend Maddie's birthday dinner and then we went out afterwards and Dylan met up with us. Now it is Saturday morning and we are meeting my friend Charlotte and her boyfriend, Vinny, at brunch. I hate that you can't even see anything. Dylan, huh? what did you tell me about the drinks? Dylan did, <laughs> Dylan, why is the brightness so high? Dylan said something very adorable. He said that she can get a bottle of champagne or if she just wants to get drinks, they'll be bottomless. <laughs> it's on my tab. <laughs> Dylan's very fashionable this morning. This will be going into my weekend. Happy birthday. Mmm! <laughs> 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 Happy Welcome birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Quincy. Um, I'm still working on this guy. Are you right. still working on that? Yeah, we're still working on this. <laughs> Thanks, man. And he didn't even stop. He was like, I don't care what you guys do. He's like, do you need this? This is 24. <laughs> this is me on my birthday. February 6th, 1998. It was a Friday. It was raining. I remember it perfectly. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a Gemini moon and a Libra rising. I'm a triple air sign, so. I also forgot to say that I almost dislocated my I almost dislocated my hip this morning getting out of bed. <laughs> Last night, after we went to brunch, me and Dylan went and got massages and then we picked up pizza and we just hung out. I forgot if I said that. It's two o'clock. We're finally exiting the house. It's my birthday. It's her birthday. We're going on our walk now. It's her birthday. Do you have any nice things to say about me? Yeah, I think you're a wonderful human. And I'm grateful you're mine. We finished our walk. 
It was a beautiful day. Dylan and I took photos the other day. She just sent us the link and they turned out really cute. Now we are off to my family's house. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, Quincy, you're the star of the show. <laughs> it's your birthday. It's her birthday. She's having a great day so far. We took well, her on her, her birthday walk. We fed her this morning with breakfast. Okay, you're acting breakfast. like I'm an elderly person. <laughs> and now we're bringing, her, we're bringing her to see her family. And that about wraps up um, Quincy's uh, 84th birthday. <laughs> Where are all the birds? Probably this eating a bunny. Hey, this should be her thumbnail. What'd you say? This should be her thumbnail. Oh, wait, then can you do it again? Got it. Their peepees are wet. Ooh, they're probably very excited. <laughs> what kind of puppies are these? They're Little ch long hair chihuahua. <gasps> oh, that's what I wanted. <laughs> this is probably as big as they're gonna get, probably. Really? They're really nice dogs. How long have you had them? We drove a crop yesterday. We drove 14 hours to get them. Where did you go? Stockton. Oh my god! Now you We're have to go to the grass. Watch yeah. Them play. Now you have to. Hey, now you have to choose. I got it. Are you gonna be able to choose? No. Just have both. Just have both. Do you know about this? Nobody knew. Surprise! Oh, you. Surprise! Oh my god! We went to get one, and oh. she showed up with two. And I was, we were both like, we can't leave that other one behind. Oh, Ella's getting jealous. Yeah, she's actually pretty good. Let's go see you go, your papa. Oh, oh, hi, He's a baby. I'm like in. They're brothers. She's nursing on me. They're brothers. I thought they were sisters. So my parents surprised us with puppies, but they're gonna keep one, and we get to keep one. So we have to decide which one. Mom, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. <laughs> My baby girl. That one has a candle too. Okay, you guys ready to sing happy birthday? Yes. All right, let's do it. Happy birthday to you. Think about it. I'm really thinking about You gotta think. You already got it. We're still here. Sneaky candles. Okay. What are they doing? Happy birthday, dear Ryan! Happy birthday to you! 27, thanks guys. It's Quincy's birthday and it's always a good day when it's Quincy's birthday. Hi sweetness, happy birthday. Happy birthday Quincy, you're an angel. Granddaughter, as always. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So, me and Ryan are both Aquarius. That's right. Aquarians. The best. And Doe and Dylan are both Sagittarius. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, that's weird. So, matchy matchy. Matchy yeah. matchy. Ball She's filming camera. Dylan's butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been working on it. <laughs> We are en route to pick up our baby, our baby child. Last night we did not bring one home because it was late at night and they were like, I don't know, I thought that it would be easier to set up everything in the daylight. Welcome home. <laughs> Well, we have a puppy now. We are a mommy and daddy to this little guy. To conclude my video, I'm feeling very grateful to my family, my friends, Dylan, everyone who made my birthday so special and made me feel very loved. I have learned a lot in my 24 years of life. I think the biggest thing that I have learned is time moves fast. Did we get any work done? Not really. No. <laughs> and always be thankful. There is always something to be thankful for. See you next time.